Oh, let's, <laughs> let's, let's be real. You're gonna find a hell of a lot of Christopher Rodriguez. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Giving us a view at home right now. Whether you're on Hitbox watching this live, you watching this uh, later on on YouTube. Hello to you. Thank you for inviting us into your home. We you appreciate it. Oh, another uh, old school favorite right here. Def. Everybody's favorite Bowser. Mario. So many good Bowsers. Zero suit seven. I can name a surprising amount of good Bowsers. Hey. Shikaka, huh? Def, huh? Odds. Uh. It's more more than all of God's us. God's Rage. Jorge. Chill, I can name a whole bunch of Alomars, dog. That's because you play Alomar. No one can, no one else can name Alomar. Well, I can. And then Gildo can. And Steel Gutty can. Are you naming Olimars right now? <laughs> you got me. I, 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 you could be saying anyone's name right and now. Wolf, I'd, be Wolken, I'd believe you. <laughs> so can Jawed. And Zygo. And uh, Hungry Pigeon. Uh, oh, dude, Hungry oh, Pigeon. <laughs> that guy's nice, Olimar. <laughs> you don't know him. Stop him. <laughs> I think it's the uh, butt warmer right here. Not surprising from Chris. Uh, he does some incredible stuff with Bowser. Yeah. If you haven't seen him play any kind of recently. Um, has some really yeah, I clean, one of the sets last yeah, He has some really clean get-up options from the ledge. Uh, you can see him. He actually uses cheater cams with the bracket. And the way he approaches platforms is like really inspirational to to lower tier main characters. It's all about the way you use the tools that you have versus what you have that nets you uh, the good stuff in the long run. So shout out to him, keeping hope alive, uh, showing up looking like a, a, a 1700 gentleman. Look like he just posed for the Pringles can. <laughs> and then we got Aiden. <laughs> Aiden, my man has been traveling uh, all over the United States. By all over, I mean New York, California, <laughs> to play this illegal modification here. Oh, he going under. We ain't even no get to see it. Can ZSS go under? I don't even know. We'll find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. One, go. On this episode, though, we'll be seeing who takes the game. What? Yeah. C to D. Wow. Not, yeah, not like that. Uh, that was a mental lapse right there. I'm definitely happy. That Chris didn't show like any recognition of what happened on his face, not giving his cards up, but that was really just start, he just started. started with three stocks. That's, that's, that's all that happened. Oh, nice. Great use of that. Uh, un under 100% get up attack from the ledge is going about it. Like, pretty cool. Uh, really good at edge guarding, um, and it takes a wide stage presence from the ledge. He's using that right there, but because he's above 100% right now, I showed this wall go, so. I like you get. I like you get the blend up. Maybe this is using the speed to repeatedly make uh, death make decisions. Catch them on a lot of 50 50s right now. Death is just like pretty much guessing wrong on a lot of them. All right, nice up you out of shield to respond to that late there. Try to come through with a side beat. Now, Ooh. if you had, didn't, hadn't had that first stock. Yeah, see, this would be all cool. This would be all cool, yeah. <laughs> this makes it a lot, a lot harder. Still not out of it yet. My man Ooh, is still I like playing. That That's nice. From the ledge, getting all that invisibility coming from the ledge and then doing the Nair, which has some invisibility on it as well. Stays back to the ledge. Like to leave. Got an SBI down and out, man. That's like Fox's up air, but sideways. And he's so uh, like consistent with chasing it after a pop up off the down there. You can see him go for it right here because it hits shields. Um, it's safe enough to come back down with it again. So you can kind of see Aiden use it like to just oppose himself above his opponent and keep the pressure up. Really smart stuff uh, at 160%. Aiden's just making this matchup look so hard. Yeah, it definitely is, man. Especially at top level. Definitely has all the tricks in Alomar's, I mean, uh, Bowser's book that he could possibly throw out, but still. Is that Philly Rider and Liam over there? People crowding around? I play probably Philly Rider next. Because Liam's probably going to beat him. I don't know, man. He said he's going Ice Timers today, and it's not his best character. And Ev is a brawl player, so that Ice Timers experience is something that we all got in that back pocket. It's a lot more prevalent than it is now, but let's How focus on what we got. All right. I chalked him last time. So I'll probably be playing. He's no Aiden. Let me see that. 
got back to the ledge right there, trying to get safe from Chris. Man, six of them? Even with the armor up there, he still ate that punish from that down there. 95% to 21. I mean, it's gasping for air right now. Almost 5% away from not being able to use that 100, 100% get up attack. So that limitation is already imposed on this man right now. For the rest of the stock right here, but great. Woo! The mix up. I'm trying to teeter cancel that down there, too. Ooh. Being demanding to come back to campus. Uh, uh. Fuck that, I'm not leaving. Oh. Wanna see a super jump? The platform cancels it, but finds nothing out of it. Aiden is still putting on his pressure. Aiden's just living so long, too. Nope. Right. Not that. Not, Get up not, right not there. With the flubs. Let me take those. Let's see how much brains it has with 8%, man. It's a really good option. See why Chris is getting custom used so much, but now it's all we're gonna see Aiden uh ratchet up his pressure just a little bit. Oh. Down there in the back air. Too big. Too strong. Short how up here is to keep it going! And just follow him because Bowser is so big. Aiden is able to so like consistently follow into his body and put the aerials right where he needs to like get another one after it. Yo. Charge that shit up. Oh no. I got time. I got time. I'll just fucking sit here. Let's go, Death. Not out of this deck. Get the up beat. Out of shield. And another up beat out of shield. Get this percent on. Let's see if he can mount some uh, pressure right here on this last stop. Definitely needs to build up some momentum for his stuff. And a great use of the F tilt says, Get off me. 80% real fast. Thinking on to some life right now. Will maybe manage to make it back. They didn't cover in the stage with that back air. Up there just to keep him off the ground. Three stocks, man. The winner is. Zero Suit Savage. Good stuff, man. Wow, I actually get to see a tree. I don't think.